Thank you for tuning in for Devos today. And all this week, we're looking at the subject of prayer. Very, very important. Let me tell you, if you don't get this down, you're going to miss out on a ton of blessings from the Lord. So we're going to look at the power of prayer. You might want to jot this down. Sometimes all it takes is one prayer to change everything. I want you to think about it. Just one prayer could just change everything in your life. Look at Mark eleven twenty three. Jesus said, Whatever, whenever you say to this mountain, you got a mountain that's in your way of getting to where God wants you to be. He says, you be removed and cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe in those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, I say unto you, what things you desire when you pray, believe that you will receive them and you will have them. <laughs> now, he's not talking about physical mountains. God's talking about mountains of troubles and problems you have in your life. Or things, obstacles that are getting in the way of you getting to the goal where God wants you to be. Now, yesterday, I talked about, at the beginning, that when we pray, we ask for wisdom. God will give us wisdom. If you know what you're going after is God's will, because you've spent time with him in prayer, he'll give you that desire. He says, and you can claim it and go after it. That, that's what God wants you to do. Listen, you will never have time for prayer. So you got to make time. You have to have a holy time every day you spend alone with God in prayer. This, this isn't something that just naturally happens. The devil will see to it that you're busy with this and helping this person over there. You know, we could be so busy doing things for God but we don't spend time talking to God, and that hurts him very, very badly. And we, we just don't want to do that. Prayer, okay, prayer without faith is like a key without a hand to turn it. So I want you to imagine you have a key. The key's in the lock of your front door. If you don't have a hand, it's going to take that key and turn it. You're not getting in. Well, that's what God says. He, he's telling us. I have all these things I want to give you, but you have to pray, but you have to have faith and you have to believe that I'm going to give it to you. Now, I got a little secret here to show you here. Look, Matthew 18, 18, do not forget this. Jesus said, truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on this earth shall be loosed in heaven. What's God saying? God's saying, if there's something you, you, you need to bind up, or if there's something that you need to loose, if, if there's money you need so you can live life, if, if there's a problem of which you need to get rid of, God said, now, if you, you make the decision down the earth and you pray and you believe, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grant your wish. This is very, very interesting here. Look in Isaiah 45, verse 11. I'm going to skip down to it, through it, but it says, thus saith the Lord. The Holy One of Israel, this is God speaking here. He says, now you ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning my work of my hands. Look here. Command ye me. God said, you command me. This doesn't even sound biblical, does it? God says, I want you to tell me what to do. Okay, let me put this together. You've sought God's face. You, 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 you know what his will is to do something. You pray and you pray by faith. But God said, now I want you to get a little commanding. Okay, the best thing you could do is stand upon the word of God. Say, God, your word promises me that you'll give me this. That you'll help me get out of this problem. That you'll help me obtain this thing in which we're trying to do for his, 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 his honor and glory. Listen, earth governs heaven when it comes to prayer. So God said, I want you to command me. Uh, listen, heaven, I'm, whoops, I'm going to go back one. Heaven will move after earth has moved. Did you hear that? So if you make the decision, God, this is what I want, and you tell God, God says, if you do it by faith, then I'm going to give you exactly what you want. I want you to practice praying like that today. 